The Cure Accelerated Life philanthropic pitch event organized by Cures Within Reach raises awareness of and funding for innovative repurposing clinical trials. These are the highlights of our virtual September 2020 Cure Accelerated Life for Chicago. Good evening, everyone. My name is Barbara Goodman, and I'm president and CEO of Cures Within Reach. We're thrilled to have you here at Cure Accelerator Live for Chicago. Tonight's program will be fast, but it's going to be fun as well. I want to introduce you all to our fantastic panel of experts. And of course, it would not be Cure Accelerator Live without our finalists. And tonight we have a really strong group. Uh, we're talking about a population that is solely dependent on caregivers, on family members, and healthcare providers to help maintain their medical stability, but also to advocate on their behalf. We are intending to incorporate EEG as a tool to measure neurological changes in response to treatment and to assess the likelihood of recovery, allowing for better care decisions, allowing for a better idea of long-term recovery. It can give a kind of voice to patients who have brain injuries when they're unable to use their actual voice. Now, these numbers are dire and shocking, but they are even worse for those patients with HFPF who also have chronic kidney disease. The current treatment approach is inadequate. By repurposing these three drugs into one pill, a polydiuretic. With your support today, we look forward to changing the paradigm from one of heart failure to heart success. There are several challenges with this disease, and we still have yet to find a treatment that gives us a lasting response. We propose an inexpensive oral medication that is already FDA approved. It's cost effective with a 10 milligram tablet costing approximately 37 cents. If your research is successful, this drug could lead to an inexpensive treatment for ovarian cancer patients who are resistant to chemotherapy. Cerebral palsy is a debilitating disorder. They result in loss of movement, decrease in strength, and pain, and limit the child's ability to interact with friends, play, take the bus, etc. As a result, the current approaches are insufficient. The kids take a lot of abuse over their lifetime, especially during their young years. So when we treated the cells with AZA, they turned into muscle. But we're really excited about the possibility of literally curing the muscle of its fundamental defect and avoiding a lot of these uh, secondary kind of palliative band-aid procedures. Thank you to all of our finalists and congratulations to our winner, Richard Liebe from the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. Thank you to all of our partners and sponsors. For further questions, please refer to the details displayed.